What are the dating must-haves for attracting a high-value man? I know we all want to be with that man that is so worth our time and our attention. The guy that we can go away and tell our friends, I met him, probably. I can extend a masculine man who knows how to play his role and show up for me in the way that I deserve. We all want to be able to say that and do that, but what are the absolute must-haves? Who do you have to be? We're going to be exploring that just after this. Hello, my name is Chengi. I am your dating and relationship expert here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, where we teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status, and high worth woman that high value men find completely and absolutely irresistible. If that sounds like you, you are absolutely on the right channel. Let's take this journey together. One of the things that we need to understand about all men, high value, low value, middle value, uh, all sorts of value, <laughs> is that we naturally test our partners. There are some conscious tests that we put each other through. That's because we've been approached to test each other for love to make sure that the other person is safe, ask them this, do this. And we're kind of almost in a frenzied sort of move to understand somebody at a quantum speed to avoid being hurt. And you all know that my philosophy around relationships is that whenever you move forward with a fear of being hurt, then you don't actually move forward. You just create a whole set of circumstances that will permit and make it possible for you to get hurt and so if we are going to move through this world like the very rare black swans that we are we need to be more focused on what will build connection and so when we understand that there are people that will physically consciously thoughtfully test us um, to their own demise there are some people who have no desire to test and high value men are usually men that have done some work on themselves emotionally and a bit more mature in themselves and so they're a bit more confident in themselves trusting their intuition and have a lot more of that inner work done and so tend to test less but the subconscious mind will test we will test as women there are some tests that a woman will give a man subconsciously to make sure that he is competent capable strong provider and protector and their little situation scenarios that we create unconsciously where we want to see that this is absolutely the case concerning this particular suitor that's no different for high value men they are little tests and little situations that they will put you through and they will test you in every way that the low value man would test you just to see what your response is just to see how to measure their movement around you and so when we're being tested it can be a bit ugh, really uh, I do not recognize my status in this dating atmosphere and environment. Um, it really is something that we can easily take personally, but it's really not. So what are the things that a high value man will test for? What he will push against, number one, is your self-confidence. He wants to know if you're a truly confident woman because a high value man does not want to be with a woman that is weak and helpless and hapless. He wants a woman that can truly stand beside him, be a pillar, be a strength and be a, a, a challenge to his to how he thinks and how he moves in this world. He's looking for an asset, he's looking for a partner in life, and he's looking for, you know, somebody that will fulfill him mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And women that are low self-confidence often need to be parented a little more than the average person who has built their self-confidence this man wants to what finds what he finds attractive is somebody who is comfortable hitting her own skin somebody who is overperforming and no longer into performing for love showing up becoming a chameleon oh this man likes this so i'm going to become this so that i can please him but really being in ownership of yourself this is what I feel comfortable in. This is what I feel comfortable wearing. These are the thoughts and the, and the conclusions and the philosophies that I live by. You know, I am very much a stoic. Uh, I, I lean more into stoicism. And, you know, that's how I live. Those are the values that I live by. Now, I may meet a man who is more hedonistic or maybe leans more into hedonism. And he may 
try me to see whether or not I'm likely to lean into his side of way of thinking. And it's okay for me to hold my ground and to explain my position and not be moved and accept that we are different and accept your, your, your perspective. This can come in small ways, and this is not about stoicism or hedonism, but this can come in small ways. For instance, you know, you might go to dinner and he might ask you if you would like to drink. Perhaps you're not much of a drinker. Perhaps you get drunk really quickly and you want to keep your wits about you for the first date or the first few dates. But you feel awkward because maybe he's going to try and be whatever he thinks that you need him to be so that, you know, so he might decide, hmm. I don't think I will have a drink because you're not going to drink. And then you feel bad. And then you think, oh, okay, um, I'll have one drink. And just that relinquishing of your position will let him know that you're not somebody who's confident and convicted in your own position. You don't hold your ground the way you should. And that just a little tweak from him and you're ready to compromise your position. It's really important that we are standing in our values and our principles no matter what and it takes a lot of self-confidence it takes a lot of knowing that i can do this i have the capacity to stand and own my space and place in this world and hold space for myself be comfortable in my own skin without being contentious without being abrasive without being difficult i can simply hold my space and say you know what i hope you enjoy your drink because i certainly am going to enjoy mine and the evening can go beautifully without anybody necessarily moving. Perhaps, you know, he wanted to copy feel a little bit further than we were comfortable with. But your ability to say, mm -mm -mm, I think this is as far as we go, sir, is really important in him analyzing your self-confidence. How much of yourself, how many, how many of your boundaries do you stand by? What are your standards for intimacy and for closeness? It's really important that we display that self-confidence, that comfortability in our skin and our thoughts and our philosophies in our persuasions in this world because even if we don't agree you will absolutely get his respect because he is looking for somebody who will say no because he's looking for somebody who will co-pilot his life especially in difficult situations and circumstances number two a high value man does value independence now that doesn't mean that he wants you know he wants you to just be able to do it all by yourself a high value man of course wants to be needed he wants to feel that you have need for him in his life but he doesn't want to feel like if he disappears from your life that is going to be the ending of it he doesn't want to feel that if he were to marry you and you were to have children together that the moment he dies you are incapable of managing the assets and the resources alone that you are incapable of creating wealth, that you are incapable of keeping his kids off the street. He wants to know the woman that he's with is competent and he knows that by how you have structured your life and how independent you are outside of other people at the point that he meets you. And he will respect the fact that you are making room to become interdependent with him rather than you are clutching onto him for your dependence. This is really important, especially in the world where we teach women, you know, to be feminine and to need a man. And some teachings out there are telling women, look, you don't need your own money. He doesn't care how much money you have. He's going to choose you anyway. But we have to understand the difference between wealthy men and high value men. They are absolutely not the same thing. And high value men tend to be masculine men. And they're not the same thing and so we need to understand that a masculine energy man desires to provide because he finds value in doing good for his family. He finds value in being the provider, not because he wants to undermine his woman or because he wants her to be less than him, but that he enjoys the role of being the person that is responsible to keep the household going. We need to understand that high value men are not looking for women that simply cannot pay their bills, that simply cannot buy themselves underwear, that cannot make it through, that need help with their bills. They're looking for women that have it together. Now, that might feel like some of us are thinking, oh my goodness, but I, I don't care if you, room, if you house share and you have your room and you can afford to pay the rent for that room and you can afford the furniture in that room and you can afford to keep yourself, you can afford to take yourself to the gym, you can afford to feed yourself, you can afford to buy yourself clothes. 
in that one room, you have created a scenario where you can afford your life without somebody helping you. Of course, he can come and upgrade your lifestyle, but he mustn't find a woman who was hardly not, who couldn't possibly cope. If your lifestyle is too expensive, why don't you bring it down and make it copable? Some of us live beyond our means. If you can't afford designer stuff, why buy it? We don't have to um, signal that we have wealth when we don't. We can just be really beautifully well-groomed women who know how to put ourselves together and show up in the world authentically. And this is really very important. So let's not get that twisted. A little bit of independence, showing that you're capable and competent as a woman will definitely attract a high value man. I want to thank you so much for your support of this channel. You mean the world to me. And I am so grateful that you, your likes, your subscriptions, your comments make this work possible. I'd really want to encourage you before you go any further, if you are enjoying this content, hit that like button, subscribe and share this video with somebody that you know will absolutely benefit because you're changing not only your life, not only the life of your friends, but the lives of women all over the world and children in ways you cannot even begin to imagine. So don't forget before we get back to the program to hit that like button and share, subscribe and comment. Thank you. Intelligence and ambition. You know, a high value man wants to be able to have an intelligent conversation with you, feel that you are going somewhere with your life. Even if your ambition is to be a mom and to, uh, to be a homemaker, even if that is your ambition, that he wants to know that you're intelligent about it, that you have a philosophy around it, that you have a reason behind it, that there are values behind it, that you can be an intelligent woman raising your children together, that your children be raised by an intelligent woman, a woman that can help with the homework, a woman that can help with the algebra, a woman that can organize the activities of the day, a woman that will know how to direct and how to speak intelligently to the family and to the children. He doesn't want to be with a dummy. Now, intelligence is not about academia. It's not about having the highest level of education. Intelligence really is something that we build and work upon. It's something that we train. Intelligence is something that we take the time to grow. It's, it comes with fostering and nurturing. Yes, some people just have a high IQ. They're just born with a high IQ. But it doesn't matter what you came to the planet with. You can add and grow it. You can develop your ability to think laterally, to think critically. You can learn all of these skills. You can read books. You can investigate. You can learn. And you can be ambitious to be the great mother that you could ever be in the whole world. That is a fantastic ambition. But even if you want to be the biggest, baddest woman in, in the corporate world, it's nice for him to know that you are not just sitting around in this dead end job hoping that he is going to come and save the day. And that even if both of you are going to go for the power couple dynamic, you still have a place in your life to be the feminine. You know when to leave the office at work, to leave that masculine energy at work and still be in your feminine and still want to change the world and be called to great and wonderful things. A high value man is not a man that will be intimidated by a woman's calling, a woman's ambition, but it will certainly be a turn on. He also wants kindness and empathy. A high value man wants somewhere that is safe for him to park his heart. What is safe for a high value man is a woman who has and shows and demonstrates a lot of kindness, who is empathetic to his needs, who understands and, and, and deals with him empathetically, who doesn't jump down his throat, but treats him kindly. This is really important because so many of us feel that men are tough and they can take it, but men are highly sensitive, especially masculine men. They're very sensitive on the inside. That doesn't mean that they're emotional. They're not ruled by the emotions, but they are very sensitive on the inside. So it's really important for a high value masculine man to be with a woman that is kind and handles his soul, his gentle inner soul with the utmost kindness, thoughtfulness and consideration. Effective communication skills and conflict resolution skills. A high value man will test your conflict resolution skills, sometimes deliberately putting you in a position where you might end up in conflict. But here is what you need to do. You need to be able to show him that you are able to compose yourself 
and articulate the need in that moment. A lot of our conflict is really because we're having a hard time articulating the true need behind the request or behind the offense. There is always a need behind any conflict. The people fight and they clash heads because often they are badly or inaccurately unable to ask for the needs to be met or identify the need within themselves that needs to be met. This is a skill, it's a habit and it's a practice that you learn to check in on yourself, especially as a feminine woman. And of course, if you need help with really getting inside of your body and understanding how your body works so you can really be tuned in to your needs when you're with your partner, then of course we're here to help you. The next most important thing is a sense of humor. Having a sense of humor is going to get you through a lot of dating for pause. Because here's the thing, men are going to mess up, things are going to go a little bit pear-shaped here and there and now and again. And so our ability to laugh things off and to link things off is going to be really important. A man, high value man wants to know that his woman has a bit of a sense of humor, that everything is not serious, not everything is for snapping off his head. We can think about it this way, when he does something stupid that we don't like or inappropriate, is there a way that we can turn a turn it into something funny? Is there is there a way that we can convert it into something that we can all have a giggle about at the end of the day? If it is indeed possible, then developing a sense of humor and practicing with your family and friends to have a sense of humor is going to be very, very useful in your dating and relationship life. The next thing is a healthy lifestyle. A high value man wants to know that you're a woman that takes care of yourself. Your size does not matter because a man likes what he likes. Whether you're a big girl, a small girl, a tiny girl, a skinny girl, a thick girl, whatever. Whatever your shape or size is, is it being having the best care of it taken? Do you go to the gym? Do you move? The gym may not be your thing, but maybe you move, you walk. Maybe you take care of the things that you put in your mouth. Maybe you eat well 80% of the time and he can see that you're somebody who is conscientious and conscious of her health and wellness. None of us want to be with a partner that we end, what, that we end up having to look after because they can't be bothered to look after themselves. The people who are in wheelchairs, people who have one leg or missing limbs, who make the effort to stay healthy, and fit, who are in gyms lifting weight. You may come with a chronic illness, maybe you were born with something, but what he really wants to see is that you are conscious and conscientious about your health and wellness. This is absolutely sexy because chances are a high value man is somebody that does exactly the same for himself. You don't have to be perfect body. You can have a little bit of a this and a little bit of a that. And I actually think it's quite charming and most men find it charming. But it's really about your conscientiousness when it comes to your health and your lifestyle. The next one is respect for boundaries. Can you respect his no and his yes? Our ability as women, if we want to partner with high value men, is to be able to hear a boundary, see a boundary, and most importantly, feel a boundary and stay behind that boundary. You know, as women, sometimes we're brackish, a little bit spoiled, and we like to have our way no matter what. Last but absolutely not least is a supportive nature. High value men tend to carry a lot of responsibility. Sometimes they're just so busy. They don't always have time to do the things with you that you would like to do. And sometimes they're just so busy taking on beasts in the business world or in whatever world they find themselves in. And what they really want is a supported mate, a mate that is able to stand with them, by them or for them. Whether you are in the room with them or whether you are the supportive partner at home who is making room and making space and being understanding. Now, being understanding doesn't mean that we're nice girls and we can, we're can we open to neglect, but being understanding is a way of showing where it is reasonable that this at this point, he's working on a particular project. It's going to be three months. So I'm not going to see him as much as I used to, as much as I would like to. I'm not going to hear from him as much as I used to, as much as I would like to. But we can come to a compromise where perhaps we touch base at least once a day, maybe through a text or something. But I'm not going to demand or require the same amount of contact as I used to because he wants to be able to see that you have the capacity to hold his life. Now, if you are the woman that I've been describing above, you're going to have your own stuff going on anyway. 
way. So you don't really need to be also into his life and immediately. And, and this comes from being a high value woman yourself. You can only give and provide and show up as this woman in a man's life if you are this woman. You can't pretend to be this woman because it takes a lot of fortitude, a lot of healing, a lot of self-awareness to become this woman. I hope that this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you on my next one. In the meantime, do take care of you. Love you lots. Bye-bye now. Simple steps to join Black Swan community. Download the Black Swan app from either Google Play Store or Apple Store. Launch the app and tap on register. Put in your valid information, then tap and continue. Put in the verification code sent to your email to authenticate your account. Then log in to your account. Be sure to accept all permissions displayed at installation stage to enjoy all the cool features in the app. You can now enjoy a community of high-value women with support from coaches and trainers. Book calls with coaches, chat, post, and interact with the community. Enjoy! Thank you.